Welcome back to West Virginia Total Resource. I'm Kristen. And I'm Hannah. We're here to give you all the insight you need on relocating to or within West Virginia. Today we're diving into a riveting debate. Oh. Clark County versus Jefferson County. Where is the best place to plant your roots? Ah, the classic Virginia, West Virginia showdown. Clark and Jefferson are neighboring counties that have a lot of similarities and a few key differences. Let's see how they size up to each other using some data points we've handpicked. Now I might be a little biased since I was born and raised in Clark County, but I've become a huge fan of Jefferson County lately since my parents and so many of our clients have chosen to move there. Yeah. If you've lived in either area, tell us what you think in the comments. We always love to get more information from our viewers. Definitely, and if you think we missed an important detail, Let's talk about it. Ready to get into it? Sure. <laughs> Let's start with one of the biggest differences, size. Clark's cozy with over 14,000 people living within 176 square miles. Meanwhile, Jefferson plays the big brother role with 57,000 people sprawling over 209 square miles. So if you're looking for a bustling area with more neighbors, Jefferson might be a better fit. But if you prefer less density, Clark may be the right place for you. Especially considering how many more new construction projects you find in Jefferson County compared to Clark. Very true. It seems like there are new developments appearing all the time in Jefferson County. And I know more are planned in the future too. Meanwhile, in Clark, the zoning makes it very difficult to subdivide land. There are some big debates going on about this right now with a piece of property in town. Mm. All right, let's talk about what all these people are up to in both locations. In Clark, we see a 4.6% unemployment rate and a median household income of about 77,000. Not too shabby considering the median income for 2022 was just under 76,000 for the country. Right, but Jefferson is a close match with a 5.8% unemployment rate and slightly lower median income of about 74,000. Clark takes a slight edge here. True, but when you get to the cost of living section, you will see that residents in Jefferson County get to keep more of that income, whereas Clark residents spend more on it, of it on housing and taxes. When you consider that, the fact that salaries are so close gives Jefferson County a nice edge. Too true. Touche. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that. Clark's average home price last year was around 538,000 with taxes ranging between 2,200 and 4,000 for that price point. Jefferson average home prices are almost half of Clark's around 348,000 with taxes stretching from under 1,000 to nearly 4,000 for that price point. Quite a range. Now, we can't interpret the tax code for you for obvious reasons, but we can say that trying to decipher the Jefferson County tax code might give you a bit of a headache. You have personal experience with this, don't you? I do. <laughs> I have a headache. Just thinking about it. I seem to remember you researching the tax code a lot just to understand what was going on when all of a sudden a new construction client had really high estimated taxes for their new home. That was quite a rabbit hole that we went down. Yes. It was, but thankfully the problem got solved and they aren't being overcharged. If you've enjoyed our video so far, do us a huge favor and like and subscribe. Or if you've lived in Clark or Jefferson counties and have some insights to add, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us about your experiences in the comments. Those lower tax rates and home prices aren't going to do much for you in either county if you can't rely on your internet for remote work or staying in touch with loved ones. Good news. In Clark, 99.7% of the population has access to broadband. While rural internet options are improving, not all are created equal, so we can definitely help you compare your options and make sure it's gonna work for what your needs are. Yep, it can get really complicated, especially if you have video monitoring security systems. Those kinds of things can really clog up those internet and they can make other things not work as well. And right. As it's been explained to me. Yes. Another resource that we can offer is an internet guru we have who's helped many clients and family members evaluate and improve their internet situation. He's even brought internet to some locations that I really thought were impossible. Yeah. He's like the father of Christmas of Wi-Fi. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Send us a message if you'd like his information or even some help evaluating the internet options at a home you're interested in. Bonus points for Clark here. I don't think our internet guru goes to Jefferson County yet, mm. but I have been working on him, so maybe in the future. In terms of broadband, Jefferson's not far behind at 98.6% access. We recently had a client who was able to sign up for Starlink without a wait time, which was a big first. Yeah. Very exciting. 
it seems like internet options are improving across the board. And I know there are further improvement projects planned in both Clark and Jefferson County for the near future. Now, if you're planning to be up early and on the road before rush hour, you won't be alone in either location. Both counties have a fair share of long commuters. Over 22% in Clark and 24% in Jefferson commute for an hour or more. That's at least one podcast, if yeah. not two. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and put it on one and a half time or two times. Yeah, I can't really just blow through that. Nope. <laughs> now let's get into a few short stats about schools. So we'll give you some data, and if you want any further resources to evaluate schools, just send us a message or give us a call and we can send you our research list. Yeah. Clark boasts a 92% high school graduation rate and a substantial 44.1% of the population with advanced degrees. Jefferson's not far behind with a 90% graduation rate and a 38.9% advanced degrees. Education-wise, it's almost a tie. And it'll be very interesting to look at the numbers in the future to see how they have shifted. So many more people are moving to Clark County, Jefferson County, and even Frederick County as home prices have gone up. We won't get into Frederick County quite yet. Finally, the clincher, proximity to stores and dining. Mm. We know some clients who won't commit to moving until they're sure they can get to a major grocery store or Target within about 20 minutes. They must not be podcast fans. <laughs> Both counties offer a good mix, but it really depends on what you're looking for quaint local shops, or more extensive shopping options, which you can get in both areas. Given that Clark has a smaller population, there is just one large grocery store in the middle of Berryville, but there are a number of others within a 20 to 30 minute driving range. Certain parts of Jefferson County, namely Martinsburg, offer easier access to a large number of chain stores. However, depending on which part of either county you're in, you could have a longer or shorter trip. Yep, and it should be noted that neither county has a Costco, so you're going to Winchester for that. That's right. These locations encompass some very rural areas. So in either county, you could be way up on the mountain or down by the river, and the drive times can vary depending on what kind of roads you're driving, yep. if they're paved or not, how windy they are. Country roads. <laughs> so there you have it. Clark's small town charm with a strong educational and economic profile. Or Jefferson's larger, more diverse community with a slightly more affordable lifestyle. Thanks for joining us on this county showdown. Don't make any big decisions before watching our video on five reasons not to move to West Virginia. See you next time.